Hi, this is Joachim for StatisticsGlobe.com and in this video I will show you how to number rows within groups of a data frame in the R programming language. So in the video I'm going to show you two examples and both of these examples are based on the data frame that we can create in lines 2 to 5 of the code. So if you run these lines of code you will see that a new data object appears at the top right of RStudio. And we can also have a look at this data object by clicking on the data object. And then you can see that a new window appears, which is showing the structure of our example data. So the example data contains 10 rows and two columns, whereby the first column is called X and is containing several values. And the second column is called group and is containing our grouping information. So as you can see, our data consists of three groups, G1, G2, and G3. Now let's assume that we want to add another column to this data frame, which is numbering the rows within each group of our data. Then we have multiple alternatives. And in the first example, I want to show you how to do that based on the basic installation of the R programming language. So first in line eight of the code, we are going to replicate our data. So after running this code, you will see that a new data object appears, which is called data one. And this data frame has exactly the same structure as our original input data. Now, if we want to append a numbering column to this data frame, then we can do that as you can see in lines nine to 11 of the code. So first we need to specify where we want to store this new column. So in this case, we are storing this new column in the variable numbering. Yeah, and then we can apply the AVE function as you can see in this part of the code. So within the AVE function, we need to specify the name of our column, which is containing the values. Then we need to specify our grouping variable. And then we also need to specify that we want to apply the function seek along. So if you run all these lines of code, lines 9 to 11, then you will see that our new data is updated. Now it is containing three variables instead of two. And we can also have a look at this data frame by running line 12 of the code. And then you will see at the bottom in the RStudio console that our new data frame data one is containing a variable which is called numbering. And this variable is numbering the rows within each group of our data frame. So as you can see here, the group G1 is numbered from one to three. Then we are counting from one to five within group G2. And within group G3, we are counting from one to two. Yeah, so this is how to number the rows within groups of a data frame based on the basic installation of our programming. However, we can also use an alternative way, which is based on the dplyr package. So if we want to use the dplyr package, we first need to install and load the dplyr package, as you can see in line 15 and 16 of the code. I have installed the dplyr package already, so I'm just going to load it with line 16 of the code. So after running this line of code, we will be able to access the functions of the dplyr package, such as group by or mutate. So as in example one, I'm also going to replicate our original data with line 18 of the code. So after running this line of code, you will see that a new data object appears, which is called data two. And this data object is exactly the same as our example data frame that we have created in the beginning. So if we want to use the dplyr package in order to number the rows within the groups of our data frame, then we can use the code as you can see in lines 19 to 21 of the code. 
So first we need to specify the name of our data frame. So in this case, the name of our data frame is data2. Then we have to apply the pipe operator. Then we have to apply the group by function in which we are specifying the name of the grouping column of our data. Then we have to apply the pipe operator again. And then we have to apply the mutate function. And in the mutate function, we have to specify the name of the new column that we want to create. So again, we are calling this new column numbering. And then we have to specify that this new column should contain the row number. So if you run lines 19 to 21 of the code, you will see that also this data object is updated and has now three variables. And we can have a look at this data as well by running line 22 of the code. So if you run this line of code, you will see that at the bottom in the RStudio console, our output is created. And again, you can see that we have created a new data object, which is containing a new column with the name numbering. And this column is numbering the rows within each group of our data. What you also can see is that the output of the second example is not a data frame anymore. Instead, it is a tibble. And this is because the deep layer package is usually based on tibbles. However, you could also convert this tibble object into a data frame without bigger problems. Okay, so this is basically what I wanted to show you in this video. However, if you want to learn more on the numbering of rows within groups of a data frame, then you could check out my homepage, statisticsglobe.com, because on the homepage I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video, so you could check it out there. And furthermore, if you have liked the video, I would be very happy if you leave me some positive feedback in the comments. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notifications in future when I'm releasing new videos to the channel. That's it for this video. Thanks a lot. See you next time. Bye bye.